Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can leverage ChatGPT to help you in creating content briefs. I'm going to show you the, the process I use, including a spreadsheet I created that has a template with all the prompts for you that you can just copy and paste them. Before we dive into that, make sure you head over to the seopub.com. If you haven't already, sign up for the email list there where once a week I send out tips just like this. All right, so let's dive in. Let me show you the spreadsheet here. And this is a really simple spreadsheet. It has all the prompts already created for you based on the topic that you enter. So these yellow, the, the cells highlighted in yellow is are places where you're gonna enter in information. And then it's gonna pre-fill into these prompts for you to use. I'm just supplementing it with ChatGPT. So first thing that you're gonna do is go to file and make a copy of this so that you have your own copy you can use. You won't be able to edit anything on this one, so you need to make a copy. And I'm just gonna get rid of that, get it out of the way. And I already started one in phrase just to speed up this process here. We're gonna do an article about how to improve the employee experience. If you work with any companies that are that employee retention or employee onboarding, employee satisfaction, those kind of things are a big deal to them. They probably have had conversations about the employee experience at their company. So we're just gonna do an article about how to improve the employee experience. And what you're gonna do is come over here, just type in whatever topic your article is gonna be about, and it's gonna pre-fill information into these prompts for you. And all you have to do is copy and paste these. So we're gonna go into ChatGPT. You can use 3.5, you can also use 4.0. These will work for either one. I'm gonna use 3.5 for this video just because it's, it's a lot faster than 4.0 right now, um, but either one will work. So the first prompt is, I'm gonna create an article brief about how to improve the employee experience. I want you to help me create the article brief. I'll be giving you a set of instructions to, to complete to create the brief, do you understand? And it's just gonna respond back that, yep, I understand, send me the instructions. And we go to the next one. First, I want you to create a list of seven SEO and NLP friendly catchy titles for an article about how to improve the employee experience. I want you to keep the topic of how to improve the employee experience close to the beginning of the title. And going back real quick, one quick tip, the title, the topic here, I would keep it all lowercase um, only because I've found sometimes if you include uppercase in these prompts, everywhere that ChatGPT mentions it, it'll make them uppercase also, which you aren't necessarily gonna want throughout this whole process. Okay, so it created seven titles. Um, and if you wanted to create more, just edit this prompt to nine or 12 or however many you want, or if you want less, if you wanna do five, you know, just edit it before you submit the prompt. I find seven's a pretty good number to give me enough ideas for something that I, I don't always, I don't often use one of these, these titles, but it gives me ideas on uh, titles that I come up with my own then, or sometimes I'll combine parts of these, like I might use improving the employee experience, but then I like a guide for HR professionals, but so I might use that as the, the title. For this video, just to speed things up though, I'm just gonna use this first one here. And we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna go back into the spreadsheet here, and you need to put that into this cell, the article title, because it's gonna be used in a couple of the prompts coming up. Next is, we're gonna generate a meta description. So we tell it, write a catchy meta description for an article about how to improve the employee experience. Start the meta description with a question as a hook. I like starting meta descriptions with a question, just if, if any searchers are actually reading the meta descriptions, which I don't think a lot do, but if they are, I like the having a question just to grab their attention and, and get them reading it. So that would be the meta description. I usually like to include the meta description in my article briefs over here. I usually will put the, the title tag, meta description. I'll just paste that in. Next one, just go over and copy and paste. Write an overview, overview to give the writer explains what this article about how to improve the employee experience titled Improving the Employee Experience, Practical Tips for Managers should cover and its goals. And I'm not necessarily gonna use this overview, but it, again, it's this is just to speed up the process. I don't have to sit here thinking, writing it from scratch. Um, I, I'll go through and edit this. 
myself, but it just gives me a, a really quick starting point. For this video though, I'm just gonna use the overview the way it is. So that's the goal for the article. Go back to the spreadsheet, we're gonna copy the next prompt. Next prompt is who should be the target audience for an article about how to improve the employee experience. Now usually I have a pretty good idea of this before I'm creating the brief. I've usually done the research. I, I know who we're trying to target, but sometimes ChatGPT will give me some ideas that I hadn't thought of before. Um, it also sometimes writes it in a way better than I can even for the for the brief. So I uh, again for this video, I'm just going to take this whole thing. But usually I have some edits that I would would put in here before I include it in the brief. So this would be the target audience. And we're gonna go back to the spreadsheet, grab the next prompt. Next prompt is what are the most important semantic entities that should be included in an article about how to improve the employee experience? Now, if you've seen me do videos before about phrase, I still am using the entities from here that it finds in competitor pages. And I usually have a section down here that I explain to my writers what these are and why I want them to use them. And I'll still include, oops, I'll still go through this list and I'll include the ones that I want over here. But I also have ChatGPT generate some and there's gonna be some overlap. A lot of times there's overlap between the two, but it gives me some pretty good ideas. Um, obviously we need to include employee experience, workplace culture, work-life balance, employee engagement. Yeah, these are all pretty good ones that definitely need to be included in the, in the article. Grab the next prompt. And the next prompt is, I want you to remember this list of semantic entities as semantic entities within brackets. And the reason for this is, we want to be able to reference that in prompt a prompt coming up later. Um, so it's going to store this list as semantic entities. And if if you're ever curious, you can uh, say, "Show me the list of semantic entities," and it will spit the list back out to me. Okay. Next prompt is what are the most important lexical entities that should be included in an article about how to improve the employee experience? I'm not gonna go through a big description of what lexical entities are. You can look it up yourself. It's something that I use in optimizing content. They're entities that kind of branch off from the semantic entities or are modifiers of the semantic entities or closely related to them. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into it if you don't want to use it, don't use it, but I like to include them for optimizing articles. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to ask it to remember this list of lexical entities. Next prompt is we're going to kind of bring all this together. I'm going to tell it now, keeping in mind the article is about how to improve the employee experience. It is titled Improving the Employee Experience, Practical Tips for Managers. The semantic entities and the lexical entities I asked you to remember, I want you to create a detailed outline for this article. So we're telling it, based on all the information we've prompted you with so far, now build an outline. Okay, so it builds out this outline, um, which is pretty good, not too bad. I still go through, so I include for the writers the structure I want in the article and I still go through and look at competitors and phrase and I'm looking at what type of headings they're using and adding them in here, the ones that I wanna use or brainstorming my own ideas off of what they're using. But a lot of times I will take some ideas from this um, and also combine this with the, the headings that I'm creating. So again, this is all just, I'm just using ChatGPT to make the content brief process faster and more efficient for me. Uh, a lot of times I also, I like to include these bullet points if I do use any of these, um, just to give the writer a little bit more, a little bit more description of what I'm looking for. So I would take, take the outline, um, any parts that I wanna use, and I build out the outline in here to give to the writer in the brief. And then the last thing we're gonna do is what are the most relevant frequently asked questions about how to improve the employee experience? I still use inside phrase pools. People also ask questions. I'll use any of these that I like. I will also go to phrase has um, Quora and Reddit. You can access to, to pull questions. I'll still do that. 
but ChatGPT also will give me some additional ideas that are good FAQs to include in the article. So I'll take any of these that I like. And sometimes it's an FAQ section at the end of the article. Sometimes it's just questions that we want to make sure get asked and answered inside the article. So that's it. Some really simple prompts you can use. And you can use this over and over. Just get rid of what you put in there and then fill out, you know, for your next brief, you just put the topic in there and then just copy and paste, run through the prompts and it will help you build out your next content brief. All right, that's it for this video. I'll catch everyone in the next one.